Hello, how are you out there? Uh, just going for a walk on this beautiful day and just wanted to share a couple thoughts with you. And that is words that we need to eliminate from our vocabulary. Um, I'll just give you three right now, the three top ones that I have eliminated. And the uh, first one is should. You know, you've heard the saying, don't should all over yourself. Well, it's not a very uh, powerful word, phrase. Um, I should go outside and go for a run. I should do this and do that. Well, you're giving yourself an option. So nine times out of ten, you're not going to do what you should be saying you're going to do. Uh, if you say, I must go outside and jog today, then you give yourself no option. And now you have, you have a need. You have to do it. And it fulfills you once you do, and it's a great feeling. Um, second word is can't. I, I had a teacher a long time ago told me, never say can't. Uh, you know, it's a very weak, weak word. And, you know, I don't know any successful people that use the word can't. Um, can is the word you replace with that. I can do it. There, you're empowering yourself to do the task that needs to be done and you will get it done because you can do it so uh, there's that one and the last is well I'll try you know yeah it's not to try I mean you try you fail it happens um, I will that's a more powerful word because you can try and you can fail and then you quit. But if you say to yourself, I will do it, it will get done, then you may fail, yes, and you would just have to try again. Try, try, try until you do, and then you've accomplished that I will phrase. And then you have done it, feeling of accomplishment, and it builds your confidence, and you can accomplish anything. And that's, that's what was on my mind. Uh, I'm going to continue my beautiful walk, so uh, y'all have a great day. Thank you.